How did America get to be a bully? Well, America's always been a bully. As I reflect on this Thanksgiving Day week, kind of kicking back and chilling, I was thinking about all the stuff that's going on in the world, all the wars that are going on, all the wars that are perpetuated by the West or the USA. See, this is nothing new, people. I've talked about this before. When Columbus came over to America, or for that matter, even when the Spanish came over before Columbus, it was a constant onslaught against the indigenous people of this land. Murder, genocide, torture, forced uh, incarceration in concentration camps called reservations. And I look online and I'm, I'm looking to see what, what uh, the historical facts are, which is all a lie, as far as how many indigenous people were killed, maimed, tortured, that type of thing. 200 million is my figure that I'm going to throw out there because these other uh, idiots, okay, are trying to say that it wasn't nearly that much or uh, they try to change history, blah, 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 on and on and on. You know what they do. But it, is, it, is, it isn't even about the number. We're past millions here, millions. It's not about the number. It's about how things were done. It's about the insidious means that they use to uh, subjugate, torture, and kill the Native American. And I, I say Native American because people understand Native American, but America is not what the name of this beautiful land was before. It was named by the powers that took it over, okay? Actually, that name comes from Americano Vespucci, okay? Americano Vespucci, who was an Italian cartographer, if I'm not mistaken. Had to do with the whole Columbus thing, all right? Let's focus on Thanksgiving. There is no Thanksgiving for Native Americans. I mean, yeah, a lot of us might celebrate it. Uh, I personally have celebrated it for years. And I, I won't say celebrate. I'll just say took an opportunity to have turkey and stuffing and all that good shit on that day. But the original Thanksgiving, there is no doubt about it, was a complete clusterfuck, okay, to put it bluntly, because the natives of this land offered food and uh, all kinds of things, directions on uh, how to live and what this land was like and how to live in a, a land that was unsettled and all that type of thing. They offered they offered themselves as friends, and they, they turned around getting killed and murdered, okay? That's what happened on the quote-unquote Thanksgiving Day. So it's a bittersweet thing, you know, with the Native culture. But this... This country was built on that kind of thing. The bigger picture that I want to talk about here is that this country was built on genocide, okay? And there's big debates about what genocide is now and trying to redefine genocide. Why are they trying to redefine genocide? Because the United States, along with Israel, is committing genocide on another indigenous people in another land. The Palestinians, the, uh, the Arab people, okay, are being slaughtered as I speak. We're talking about thousands and thousands, all right? We're talking about 
probably right now the the death toll for the babies and kids is somewhere around probably 6,000, 7,000. Destroying hospitals, destroying schools. This is blatant genocide. This is exactly what they did to the Native American. And the fact is that these people were already on a reservation, all right? It's an occupied territory. So Israel has occupied this territory and made it basically like a reservation. Only this time they went into the reservation uh, and killed people on the reservation, all right? Who they're responsible for if, they're, if it's an occupation. America is a big fucking bully, as my picture illustrates. Let me see if I can pull that picture up real quick here. Yeah, we'll just take a quick gander here at the picture. Let me see. There you go, there he is. Look at this mean old fuck, all right? That's Uncle Sam, that's America, okay? Thinking the world's, they are the world's policemen. See this badge here? Oh, we're the world's policemen. We spread democracy around the world, not. And we're going to beat anybody over the head till they're bloody unless they accept our way. That's basically what America is. Let's make no mistake about it, all right? There's no illusions here. We all know, okay? Those of us who are affiliated and have been affiliated with indigenous thinking and have some of that blood in us, okay? We made it a point to uh, research history and... Uh, look at the facts surrounding the subjugation of the indigenous people, the murder of the indigenous people. So America basically was built on genocide. Okay, what would you expect out of a nation, okay, that is built on genocide? Would you expect anything different? And so the, what they're doing right now is, is that they have been policing the world. They're, they're starting wars after wars after wars after wars all over the world. They have spread their military bases. There's some upwards of some eight to 900 military bases around the world, which compared to Rus Russia, there's two, okay? And I don't know if China has any. So who's the bully on the block here? Who's the one that's trying to take over everything? Now, when I was in school, there were bullies, okay? There were, there were people that picked on other people and took their lunch money and uh, beat them up and uh, did stuff like that. And everybody hated them. Everybody hated them. And uh, once in a while, somebody would come out of the woodwork that had enough courage to stand up to the bully and beat the crap out of him. And that was the end of the bully. That was the end of the taking of lunch money and intimidation and fear. And it's just, you know, that, that's a perfect example of, of America. They do sanctions, don't they? And what's that? That's like taking lunch money. That's like taking people's money. They actually take people's money, like in Russia, I think they took $300 billion that was out there somewhere in the flow of the financial system that was actually Russia's, and they just stole it. No problem. And then you got, you know, like, like I have said before, you got this thing in Ukraine that has been going on, okay? And I've done videos on that, so I'm not going to review it. And then you got the thing, you know, you got the thing in, in the east, and you, you've had numerous wars, uh, war after war after war. Problem is, this bully America is going to get its ass kicked. It's already starting to fall, okay? It's already starting to be decimated. The dollar is going to be gone here pretty soon. This 
being in leagues with Israel, okay. So you got so you got the Judeo Christian nation here, right? That's another thing too they did to the Amer uh, Native Americans: force kids to go to school, cut their hair, wash their mouth out with uh, lye soap, forbid them to speak their language, killed a lot of them, uh, you know, brutalized them, sexually brutalized them, did all kinds of things to the, to the Native American, these Christians, these were Christian schools, the Carlisle schools, all right? But back to what I was saying, you got this Judeo-Christian nation, all right? You got a Judeo-Christian nation in a line with the Judas, uh, Judaism, the Israelis, now, these people claim to be God's chosen people, and, and uh, this country, America, claims to be, you know, God, America, apple pie, all that bullshit. Families and faith and God and Christianity and all that bullshit, which is what it is, bullshit. The biggest hypocrites in the world, you know. People call themselves Christian or they call themselves Jews. Supposed to be of high moral character, and here they are attacking nations around the world, vilifying people, intimidating people, sanctioning people, murdering people, babies, infants. Oh, and I'm sure there's lots of animals going under too, which are just as important as people. Okay. So as we're in this Thanksgiving week here, this is Roger Thunder telling you how it is. The desert shaman. Oh, it's a nice day here out in the desert. It's about probably 59 degrees and it's nice and cold as opposed to what, what it was in the summer which was up to 110, 115, ridiculous. But anyway, I'm, I'm digging this Thanksgiving week, and I just thought I'd share a few words with you. I just have to shake my head when I see what's going on out in the world. I've said that before, too. Shake, 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 shake. What is going on? Why can't people see? Why are people so blind? Why do people put up with this? Why does any other of the world's nations, particularly the Muslim nations, a Muslim brotherhood, nations like Jordan and Turkey and, you know, the Arab Emirates and all this stuff, why aren't they doing something? When is somebody going to stand up to the bully? Well, Russia did in Ukraine, that's for sure. And, re, you know, the, the Ukrainians that were, were a tool of America, and they're just getting slaughtered. That, that war is basically over with, pretty much over with, okay? As much as they try to say otherwise, as much, and there's all kinds of feedback coming out of America now about, backing off their position of uh, that Russia is such a weak nation and it's fallen apart in the middle. Really? Really, people? people in, the people in Russia are very happy. They're living a good life right now. There is no shortage of anything over there. The economy's doing good. The more sanctions they put on them, the better the economy gets. Uh, they're winning the war, hands down. Uh, half a million, uh, not a half million, 500. Oh, man, that's a lot of people, you know, when you think about it. That's a lot of people that are being massacred in the name of a proxy war for Russia. 
I mean a proxy war for America. And it's 500,000, okay? 500,000 Ukrainian soldiers dead on the battlefield. Now they're trying to recruit women and even pregnant women and young kids and old men. And this is something that America has forced Ukraine into, okay? But that's that's over, and you know, and then we have the situations in the past in Afghanistan and Syria. Hell, there's a there's a there's a military base in Syria that isn't even supposed to be there. The Syrians never said, "Hey, you can come in here and build a military." They just went in there and built one. That'd be like you know China coming over here and building a military base in America. Hello. So anyway, as I was reflecting on this week, I was thinking about all these different things, how America is such a big fucking bully, so full of themselves, calling themselves exceptional and uh, essential. We're the essential. No, you're not. You're not essential. And I live here. You're not essential. You're not exceptional. You're, you're, ex you're an exceptional uh problems which you are you're exceptional idiots you're except you know you're an exceptional psychopathic group of people that's what you are and you're you're going to get your comeuppance here real soon just feeling it i'm just feeling it it's like how long can this really go on i mean look at the look at what's going on in the world man they've orchestrated their own armageddon They've made Armageddon, uh, they're bringing Armageddon on, they're Armageddon, the Battle of Megiddo, the end times. And this idiot Netanyahu, Nitwit Yahoo, is out there spouting off all the time, all the time, you know, about biblical uh, scriptures and, uh, you know, basically what they're out to do is God's chosen people is out to uh, fulfill biblical prophecy. They're about they want to bring on the end times. They want to bring on... These people are sick. Sick in the head. And the, see, this is, this, is, this is what the biblical thing does. This is what the Christian narrative, this is the Hebrew thing. How do you, th how do you think Yahweh became the God of all the Christians around the world? Lord, God, Yahweh, Jehovah, whatever. How do you think that happened? propagation of lies through the Hebrew uh, texts, and then, you know, the Roman Catholic Church taking that and running with it as well. How did a God that was started off as a, a almost an ins insignificant war God, Yahweh, rise to the heights of being the God of the whole world? You've got to ask yourself that. Well, if you look into history, you find out that it was kind of a process, a planned process, okay? So if you didn't think we were in a bunch of trouble, okay, shitload of trouble, all you got to do is, is look at the policy of the ancient Jews and their scorched earth policy and how when they went into different cities of, their quote-unquote enemies, they killed everything, leveled everything. What are they doing in Gaza right now? It's a scorched earth policy. Scorched earth means nothing left, baby. Nothing left. Can you imagine if that happened here in America? How would you feel? How would you feel if, if we were invaded through Mexico and off the West Coast and uh, we, they came in from all different angles, and people were running around uh, crying and wailing and food shortages, and they cut off the food and the water and the electricity and the Internet. Oh, my God. Americans are spoiled rotten. They wouldn't know how to live two minutes. And they've never had a war on their soil. 9-11 wasn't... Here's another thing, too, that I was noticing recently. Is that there's something going around about people are... Yes, people are protesting against the Palestinian thing. 
But there's this thing called letter letter to Osama or letter from Osama bin Laden to the American people where he's talking about how the American people alienated uh, all the rest of the people in the world. And these young people are all reading this letter, which has been banned now, taken off where it was originated from, which was the Guardian in the UK. These people were reading this letter, and on TikTok they were posting all this stuff about an existential crisis, and you know, uh, and the whole thing is based on why, why, why a Bin Laden and why the uh, Arabs attacked on 9/11. You see, that's a whole myth as well, because. It wasn't the Arabs that attacked on 9/11. It was our own country. It was an inside job. Just go to go look at uh, 9/11 for truth. 9/11 truthers, uh, architects, pilots, engineers, explosive experts. It's all been proven that it was an inside job from America. So when I see stuff like this, I wonder, well, what are they trying to do here? Are they trying to? Is this a CIA thing where they're trying to uh, not only start a civil war, a divisive factor between the people that uh, realize what's going on in Palestine and in Gaza and the people that don't? Are they starting to, are they trying to cause a division or are they seizing on a crisis? Never let a good crisis go to waste. So are they? Are they doing that? Are they seizing on the crisis? Or are they uh, orchestrating this TikTok thing to uh, not only divide people, but to further fortify the uh, idea that somehow we were attacked on 9-11 by an outside source? Get my drift here because, you know, if you give, if you give Obama... Obama, same thing, Osama bin Laden, credence, okay, or this letter credence, which I doubt if even I, I doubt if I even give it credence. <clears throat> the whole Osama bin Laden thing was basically a hoax. I mean, he was a CIA asset in Afghanistan fighting against the Russians, okay? He was a rich man, came from a rich family. They, he, you know, his family were friends with the Bushes. Okay. So what makes me think that any of this is real as far as letters or anything like that? It was all a planned thing. Yeah, let's blame, let's blame the uh, Muslims. Let's blame the Arabs, man. Let's, let's blame Saudi Arabia. Let's, uh. Let's make up a story about pilots flying into the thing when actually those pilots could have never flown into that thing. They couldn't even fly a Cessna 152. Hello? And I'm a pilot. I know this stuff. So, you know, there's all kinds of things going on right now. There's just a mass, massive wars everywhere. There's uh, deception everywhere. There's uh, a literally falling of the financial uh, situation, uh, an eroding of the financial situation in America. There's countries turning their back on the dollar and forming other currencies through the BRICS nation, nations or assemblage of nations. The UN is useless uh, because they have come out against this thing about the genocide in Gaza, uh, the uh, head of the UN, and they got on his shit. Uh, right now we are totally, you know, I used to make videos a long time ago and I talk about, you know, you better watch out, people. They're, this shit's coming down the road. It's getting worse and worse. And, they're taking your freedoms away, and they're doing this, and they're doing that. Constantly warning a voice in the wilderness here. And here it is. It's already here, okay? We are already in World War III, basically. We are already in moments away from destruction. Incidentally, I want to mention something here at this point. I know that I'm being shadow banned on YouTube, okay? 
I have proof that I'm being shadow banned on YouTube and maybe even my comments on other people's channels. How do I know this? Okay, because a long time ago I went to BitChute, which is another platform, and I posted a bunch of videos on there, and then I, I, I checked a little uh, thing when I went on BitChute that said they could upload my videos from YouTube, okay? So I haven't been really following BitChute all that uh, much, you know. I've been concentrating on YouTube for some insane reason. Then I go over to BitChute, and I uh, just happen to, like, oh, yeah, I have a channel over there. I went over there to check, and the, the, the videos that I get, maybe 60, 70 views here, I'm getting 600 and 700 views over at BitChute. So what does that tell you? tells you they're shadow banning me and on YouTube and causing uh, a problem with my subscri uh, subscription rate and new subscribers that want to come in and, and things like that. So what I'm trying to do right now is uh, figure out how I'm going to handle this situation as far because see right now I, I want to start doing spiritual readings as you saw in my previous video spiritual wisdom counseling somebody told me I'm selling myself short on that. I kind of believe them in a way you know charging $30 for a half an hour or $50 for an hour which you can do that, you know. Go to spiritofcrazyhorse.com. Oh, by the way, somehow my link seems to be appearing again. On this channel, anyway. Here's another thing, too. I'm also starting another, well, I started another channel a long time ago called Campfire Council. And that's where I'm going to be posting more of my... Uh, spiritual wisdom counseling material so i'm going to put the link to that in there as well also it's basically it's right on this channel if you just come in on this channel it goes related channels or it has a list of channels in there that are related to this and campfire councils on there but i'm going to put the link up to So anyway, I thought I would just come on here a little bit on this Thanksgiving week and uh, talk about this stuff. I guess I'll leave it there today. Enjoy the rest of the day and the rest of the week. And uh, remember, if you want to get, you know, if you want some, some counseling on a one-to-one -one basis, we can do it on Zoom or we can do it on the phone or... Uh, through a donation process 30 bucks and you get a free book too with that you get one of my books listen to the wind speak from the heart which is an award-winning book or you get my book emergence which is a novel about native american lovers twin souls so you can have either one of those two books for just a ten dollar donation really but even but if you if you want a reading from me i hate to call it a reading it's not really a reading it's you know i could i could go on in one of these psychic uh hotline things tomorrow and get hired uh, immediately okay but i really just don't kind of like that vibe uh you know it would have to be the right right company and uh, would have, they would have to uh, understand where I'm coming from as a shaman and not just some person that's going through the tarot cards and saying, yeah, this means this and this means that and this is for you. And here's the death card. Oops, what's that about? And, you know. So I don't, I don't, I don't like going that route. I can, uh, and I, I actually would would rather not though i'd rather have, have my listeners out there support me and um either through donations or through readings or counseling 
spiritofcrazyhorse.com. Like this video and share it. I'm out of here. Have a good, good week this week. Enjoy. Celebrate your Thanksgiving. That's all right. It's it's perfectly all right. You know, it's just uh, it's 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 something though. The the reason that I brought up the thing with the with the indigenous people is because all the genocide that's going on. It's timely. And if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, remember every day should be Thanksgiving, and every and remember the ones that were tricked on that day as well. All right, I'm out of here. Adios.